We've got a little bit going on. We're just getting ready because we have an open door helicopter flight. But that should be cool because I've never been in a helicopter before. Well, I have been in a helicopter before, but not with the doors off. First time for us to do that. This is Sales in the Desert, and it's where we are staying for the next few days here in Uluru. So this is the room. It looks much nicer when it's... Some uh, nice... Got stuff everywhere. Aboriginal paintings there. TV, which is actually like mounted recessed in. Yeah, it's really a very cool. nice touch. We actually have a nice little balcony out here. This is Ananu land. You can tell what why it's called the red center because it's absolutely dark red. There you go. <laughs> it's mm. hot. So there's two options when you want to stay in Uluru. One really nice place. Is it solitaire? Nah, it's called latitude. Latitude. One, three, something. Yeah. Which the room, Oprah Winfrey stayed there, the rooms yeah. are like 3,000, 6,000 a night. And then there's this one, yep. which is more um, affordable. This is obviously sales in the desert. And then you've got the parks where you can take your yeah. vans and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, really nice. We'll give you guys a bit more of a tour when we go to dinner. We'll show you what we eat and yeah, show you the rest of the crew. But Max, you've got to get ready because yeah, we're going in half an hour. So we'll show you guys more of this amazing view of Uluru when we're there. One of the best ways to really experience the beauty and the size of Uluru is on a open door helicopter. So this is our first time that we've ever done an open door helicopter. We're so, so excited. It's sunset, so we're going to have amazing light. Gosh, I can't wait. I'm so, so excited. And I can't wait to show you guys just how beautiful this view is going to be. Right, so if you want to be able to speak, this is your push to talk button. had an amazing afternoon. Doors were open, wind in your hair, and then not only that, we were at Uluru, we went to Katajuda. It was just so stunning. Our cameras had to be on straps because they don't want nothing, obviously, to fall out of the helicopter. But yeah, just all the different like hues of red that Uluru changed as the sun set, it was just so magical. Uh, we've got a big day planned tomorrow. So this is day one, we made it. Just thought we'll show you guys what we got up to and then more vlogging and more stuff to show you tomorrow. So good night and see you tomorrow. We've got dot painting here. We show people a bit on the sand about uh, the different tools and the markings and then we'll give people a little sheet so that people can tell their own story which is really nice to tell your own traveling story and then we'll put it down together and people can um, explain what their story is and, and it's really lovely to hear what people come up with. So using the um, symbols of the Ananu and telling their own story is really nice. You know, and that's just a beautiful little one to, um, yeah. A chichi or not? Chichi <laughs> good. for a rabbit, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. for a rabbit, yeah. Huh. Beautiful. So yeah. there's some of the tools, so. Put sand on it and it's been. amazing. Good teaching, thanks. Same, you're not a banana. Oh, yeah, we can talk about it. I did that last. I was here last. Honestly. Yes. <laughs> Finished our painting, travelling feet. Yeah. This is the sun. Yeah. And we've got also water symbol here. Yeah. More travelling. Woman sitting. And man sitting here for Max. Would you say it's easy or hard? It's it's hard deciding what you want to paint because yeah. there's so many beautiful options and you know you want to tell a little bit of a story or things that you that relate to you. But uh, I mean, I got the hang of it. I'm definitely not as good as Evelyn. All are in the background. Wow. Yeah, it's a really nice experience. Something different. Wow. Highly recommend. And yeah, this is going to go nice in the van. Wobbly. Dingo, nice. <laughs> Get up. I'm protected. I'm ready for my first ever 
go on a Segway. The bar's one foot at a time, step on up. Way in towards me, so belly button in, bum in, everything oh, yeah. towards me. Gorgeous! Slow this in at nice and you stop. And show me reverse, so just force it back to center to stop. Windscreen wipers all the way to one side. Oi! Oh, made it down here to Katajuda for sunset and I mean I've just got no words it is so magical just the way that that lights hitting Katajuda those reds just keeps changing a little bit like Uluru but it's just so different with the big boulders yeah and they're just the round the round rocks cheers and we're also here for a sunset champagne champagne here at Katajuda would you believe it and a few flies <laughs> and a few flies So it's currently 4.26. Oh no, wait, I've got the time wrong. I'm still on Brisbane time. It's three minutes to four. 3.57. See, that's how early it is. I can't even, I'm still asleep. We've got a super early morning start. We haven't been vlogging much, but I thought I'd use this time wisely. <laughs> <laughs> What's even funnier is Max is wearing a watch with the wrong time. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm bloody Brisbane time. We're going to go to a place called Field of Light. Now, it's near Uluru and it's basically this light installation. There's all these colourful lights. And it was supposed to be only a temporary installation, but it's drawn so many crowds over the years that they've actually kept it. I don't know how long it's going to stay there for, but it's really, really beautiful. So we're going to go there super early before the sun's up um, get some shots and then as the sun rises hopefully we see you know Uluru at blue hour with the lights should be really 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 nice but yeah we're gonna get our stuff ready and then we are gonna head off go let it eat hand <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. Pulled over on our way to Alice Springs. Three dollars. Feed the emus. What an experience. Hungry. Okay. Hungry. <laughs> okay. Just here. Right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's enough for you. Put some on your hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> refreshing <laughs> Ellery Creek big hole yeah <laughs> and there's actually quite a lot of water in there so it's been a great spot to swim and enjoy the donut we actually went like right in there you might have seen on some drone shots 
but a really nice refreshing spot and now we're going to go for a dip at another spot. So if you're here, it's not too far from Alice, bring a donut because you can just float away and they look really cool in photos. But check it out. Whoa. Such a photogenic place. So cool. But we're off to Ormiston Gorge now. Let's go. today in Ormiston Gorge and it's really really nice big watering hole the clouds are rolling in I think it's time to go time to pack up the donuts and yeah what a great day exploring the West Max <laughs> you we're done with Rangers yeah yeah <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Off to a great start. Beautiful sunrise, nice conditions, the views are just amazing. Highly recommend. All right, hit it, pilot. <laughs> so amazing so we just finished up here hot air ballooning yeah with outback ballooning outback oh ballooning. Wow. i've missed hot air ballooning we haven't done it for a while so last time we went hot air ballooning was in cappadocia back in 2013 so 11 years ago but i tell you what it is just as good as the first time we did it it's so amazing so peaceful here um in the northern territory just out of alice springs yeah an amazing way to see the mcdonald ranges and a bit of alice springs and also the sunrise so and very that. very nice and you get to celebrate a safe landing with a champagne at the end if you're ever out here in alice springs or if you ever get the chance to do hot ballooning in general highly recommend it it's heaps of fun cheers let's lock hands go on ready That's it, that's how you get the shot guys. I don't want to brag, but out here, Uru, <laughs> getting the shot. I'm just a videographer for these guys. 